Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Supercenters here in Junction City, Oregon. My name is Gary Christians, uh, serving you since 1981, and you know me as the van guy. So if you have a question, uh, just say I need to talk to the van guy. Today, highlight is a 2019 Travado 59K floor plan. Before I pop in here real quick, I released the front left lever, which turns this seat around. The right lever, the right lever on the front corner is to recline the seat. They're very easy to operate once you just learn the position that they're in. Um, let's pop in. We'll start here in the back. It's got a nice big bathroom in the back. I always sit down to show there's plenty of room, but also to be able to show you these full extension drawers in the back. There's lots of storage. And then you've got your closet in here. Now there's a lot of privacy curtains and that kind of stuff. And it's got a sh uh, shower curtain for back in here when you're taking a shower. It's got a little lock to put on the door so you don't have somebody playing funny on you trying to open the door up. Uh, if we turn around over here behind me, here's the sink. Operates in here, or it all runs down here. Medicine cabinet, and of course your shower head comes right off of here, and you got your control easily put here. This just pops up out of the way. Light switch turns that on. These doors unhook and they slide together. You have your energy management system here, so if you're plugged into 30 amp service and you get this wild crazy idea, it's really hot out so you're going to turn the AC on and then you want to turn on the convection microwave and all of a sudden that, that circuit starts freaking out, well this will automatically turn off the AC, let you run your convection, when it's done, turned off, it'll fire the AC back up. Don't have to go out and reset a breaker switch. Solar panel, all the controls are back here. Heaters for your tanks, all the water's inside, it's not going to freeze up, it's a very nice thing about the new, new models. And also they have the new screen treatment for 19, very nice. You can brighten everything up or leave them partially open. We have a table down here that sets up here, so you can seat a whole bunch of people in here. You can have eight people in here. Yeah, these people aren't moving back and forth real easy, but you do have a, a table and a place to sit. Um, we'll slide the owner's information over here. We've got a headrest that pops up here on both sides. Down boy. And then underneath this here, you have your cushions that can be used for a backrest, or you can take the table, put it here, and fill in this space. Most people in this floor plan, they don't do that. They want to be able to get up and, and use the restroom or move around and not have to crawl all the way out. If you're not going to do that, you can leave those home and put all your chairs down below. Table legs are right here, easy to get at. Um, they've got a real neat mattress system here, very comfortable. Over on the driver's side, something new. That just came out on the 19s as well, is they did provide you with two seat belts over here. Also, you see the little webbing for stuff at night you can put over there and keep it out of the way. USB port. Uh, this light here goes blue or white, so at nighttime you can have blue light. If you want to read something, you can switch over to the, to the white light. 110 outlet down below, right back down here. And then Storage up on top is unbelievable. A lot of storage space all the way down. Notice the heavy duty hinges. Cabinet work is finished off very nicely. And we've got the same thing on this side. A little spice in here, you probably could put what? A satellite player hookup system. Got a DVD in here. Your TV does release, it comes out for viewing, or you get crazy, you can swing outside. 
Okay, back here. There we go. All right. Kitchen, compressor, refrigerator. Compressor, refrigerator, what does that mean? Well, it means you're not going to have to worry about having this unit perfectly level to be able to operate your refrigerator. Single lever faucet. Then you got all this stuff for washing your dishes, all put in here nice and compact. Recessed two burner stove. As I mentioned earlier, you've got a convection microwave. So the driver's seat turns around. It's got a table here in the countertop. The passenger over on this side utilizes this table that comes up, swivels down. Got a nice place to eat or do some work. And then your storage compartment back down here now is lockable. Think about the Dodge Pro Ram chassis, six cylinder front wheel drive, and just take a look at that view out the front window. It's got a great view. This has a 10 foot tighter turning radius than a Mercedes product, and you can get this bad boy about any place you could put a small car. So the mirrors, the top and bottom mirror are both controlled over with a joystick over the next, just to the left of the steering wheel. And that'll control both of those. And if you get in a tight spot, there's another switch you push and the mirrors fold in for you. Which if in a tight area, you're not having to worry about somebody walking through there and smashing your mirror. Ah, that would be a bad day for everybody. Uh, this gets 15 miles per gallon. I drove this the long way over to uh, Ben for a show during the, all the snow that we had. Drove all the way up to Portland, down the gorge, etc and it averaged 15 miles per gallon zooming along at the freeway at, at breakneck speeds as well as uh, bringing it back over the pass in the snow. Front wheel drive it handled very nice. Uh, you can put some uh, radial chains on it if you need be. Carry them with you. They're very light. Um, let's take a peek outside. Here's your disconnect switch for the coach battery. Now this is turned all off so we're not going to drain any juice off of the coach battery. Um, this does have a screen. The pull here means to pull this way. The pull here means to go in. Uh, running boards. They used to offer a step. Now they offer a full length running board. So that way the passenger and, and people getting inside have a running board. They don't have to push a button and have it come out. And if you're getting in muddy situations, you're having a great time off-road, you don't have to worry about the mud clogging the mechanism up. Just another nice feature. All Dodge Pro Ram, you got to close the doors. Because if you don't, hard, when you go to lock it, it won't let you lock it. So you got to make sure you close them because that's a safety feature. You can't lock something up and then find out you left the door open and somebody could open it up. Um, LED lights up here. Got two speakers. That's a power awning. It's electric. Push the button out, it comes with a wind sensor. So if we had it out next to your neighbor right over here, you got a neighbor right here. Well, you can run it right out to here, and if the wind comes up, it'll flop up and it'll just retract itself in. Very nice. Cable hookup, 12 volts, 110. Yep, you could bring a TV out here if you wanted to. Winnebago has the nicest rack system in the market for doing all sorts of crazy stuff. It'll do canoes, kayaks, luggage rack, and the nice thing about it is, well, let's just try it out. This ladder is to get up there, but that's not where all you store all your stuff, right? So we're going to take this off, we're going to bring it over here, that's how you get up on your roof, that's how you get to your luggage compartment, your snow skis, your kayaks, your surfboards, all that stuff can go up there. You do have solar panels on top, it'll take up to three solar panels, uh, it's got I believe one on this one. But they're already ready to go. They're already to plug in if you want to upgrade. 
Got Santa flush over on this side, that way you can hook a hose up to it. Turn on the water, it'll clean out your black water tank. Uh, make sure you get all the residue off. Uh, exhaust for the generator, dump tanks down below. And we pointed out on the back, it does have a trailer hitch and wiring already. It's got a bicycle rack as well for two bikes. And this model, you can get a little crazy and even put them in between the two beds. Added a lot of extra windows and the treatment. Propane's easy to get to, power cord, cable hookup, um, gas models, you fill right over here. Here's those controls I was talking about for the mirrors and also to collapse them. The seats are adjustable, it's for height and, and uh, to be able to recline them. If you have any questions on this model, or certainly anything else, well, if you call in, ask for the van guy. If you call me direct, use 541-554-9581. Now I know you could back this up and play it again and write it down. Hey, I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Gary, guaranteed.